Hey everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and for this week's featured read aloud, we have another back to school favorite. So today is the first Friday in August, and for a lot of us, August is the official back to school month. I know for me, I start school on August 20th, so there are about 17 more days for me until my very first day of school as a teacher. And I've been trying to find some read-alouds that I'll use for my first week of school, and so I'm thinking that we don't eat our classmates from last week, and probably even this one will be on my top list. So this story, Red, a crayon story, is all about finding your inner self and being true to yourself. And I know in school, once you go to school, there can be a lot of peer pressure, this pressure to feel like you have to fit in and be a certain person to make friends. And sometimes people might even label you, which means they kind of give you their own label and decide for themselves who you are and what you're like. And they might say things like, oh, you're definitely a funny person, or you're, maybe you're a quiet person, or oh, you, that person's so loud. And you know what? Sometimes people might use those labels and label you when it's not even true. Because maybe they call you quiet, but you're actually not quiet. Maybe you're just kind of, well, it's the first day of school and I don't really feel like talking that much. Or maybe they say you're super loud and you're actually not super loud. You just were really excited for the first day of school. Well, even if people have certain ideas about you, you still should be true to yourself. Just like our friend here, this red crayon we're going to find out about. Just like this crayon learns to stay true to himself. Because when you go to school and you start making friends and you start learning and stuff, all we really want is for you to be yourself so that we can all get to know you the real you. And my goal as a teacher is going to be to make sure that every student feels like they're in a safe space to be their true selves and that we can all appreciate each other in our own unique talents and characteristics. Okay, while well, you're ready to learn about this story and how this story helps us and teaches us and inspires us to be true to ourselves, let's begin. So the title of this week's featured storybook is Red, A Crayon Story. Written and illustrated by Michael Hall. So that means Michael Hall wrote all the words and he drew all the pictures in our story today. Now let's take a look at this cover, my friends. There's something really interesting that I see. What do you notice? Notice anything interesting? Yeah, I see the title of this book is Red. And I see this crayon and it has a red label, a red wrapping, but is it is it a red crayon on the inside? No, and look what it's coloring, what color it's coloring. It looks kind of blue, doesn't it? But its label says red. Huh, I wonder what's going on. And down here, I even see these crayons. There's some words down here. This crayon's like, what? And this crayon's like, uh-oh. Hmm. My friends, what do you think is going on with this crayon that's labeled red, but looks like it's coloring blue? Well, let's find out. Ready to begin? Okay, here's our title page. So it has the title of our book, Red, A Crayon Story, and written and illustrated by Michael Hall. And right here, there's a pencil writing, and it says, As Told By Me. Hmm, I wonder, wonder what that's about. Let's see. Ah, huh, my friends, what's this up here? The pencil, and what does it look like the pencil's doing? Yeah, it looks like the pencil's writing the words to the story. Huh. So the pencil says, he was red. Red. Does he look red to you? Well, the label, the outside looks red, but what about on the inside? What color is that? Hmm. But he wasn't very good at it. He wasn't really good at what, my friends? Sounds like he wasn't very good at being red. And why not? What is he drawing? Yeah, a blue, kind of looks like a blue truck or something, huh? Maybe a fire truck even? Are fire trucks blue? Usually they're red, huh? Hmm. And look at this crayon down here. The color is olive, which is a type of green, like a darker green like this. And this crayon's saying, oh dear. Hmm. Well, his teacher thought he needed more practice, more practice being red. Do you think that's going to change him to be red? So his teacher looks like this crayon. This crayon's color is scarlet, which is like a deep red. So teacher says, I'll draw a red strawberry. Then you draw a red strawberry. You can do this. Really? Do you think he's going to be able to do that? 
Why not? Because he's blue inside? Even though everyone thinks he's red because his label says red? Could he do it? But he couldn't, really. So these are the teacher strawberries and here are his. Like this, he said? Oh my, let's try again, said his teacher. Looks like he's trying, though. His mother thought he needed to mix with other colors. Go hang out with some other colors, she thinks. Why don't you two go out and draw a nice round orange? A really big one. A really orange one. Mm. My friends, so this is kind of funny because they're saying you need to mix with other colors. Why do you think she's saying that the yellow and red should draw an orange together? Well. Did you know that yellow and red make orange if you mix them up? But if yellow mixes with our red crayon here, are they going to make orange, you think? Well, he's not really red. Do you know what color yellow and blue make instead? Let's see. But they made a big greenish one. Yuck, said yellow. Oops, said blue. So instead of yellow and red making orange, yellow and blue make green when they mix. Interesting. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Your class is making self-portraits for parents night. Wear this warm red scarf. Nice. It's so you. Says grandparents silver and gray thinks he just needs to add a little scarf to keep him warm. You think that's gonna work? Let's see. So grandpa said that scarf is so you but it so wasn't. So look my friends they all made self-portraits. This is Gold. What color is this? Teal. This is purple, orange, green. But wait, this is supposed to be reds, but what color is it? Blue. Oh dear me. Everyone seemed to have something to say. This color, amber, like an orange amber. Sometimes I wonder if he's really red at all. Hazelnut. What color is hazelnut kind of like? Like a light brown. Don't be silly. It says red on his label. Hmm. You think his label's correct? Cocoa bean color? He came that way from the factory. Fuchsia. Ooh, what color is fuchsia? Like a pink? Frankly, I don't think he's very bright. Hmm. Grape. It's kind of like a purple. Well, I think he's lazy. Army green. Right, he's got to press harder. Steel gray. Really apply himself and try. Sunshine color. Give him time, he'll catch on. And the sea green says, of course he will. Hmm, my friends, so overall, do they have really nice things to say about him or what are they kind of saying about red? Yeah, not so nice things. They're kind of saying he's lazy, he's not trying hard enough, or that, oh, he'll fit his label eventually, which sounds kind of nice, but I don't know if that's very helpful to him, right? Because is he red? No. It sounds like just because his label says red, they think he should be a certain way. And since he's not, they're not very happy with him, huh? But he didn't catch on. Green frog! Black sheep! Brown cow! Red... Oh, it's not very red at all, huh? It's more like a blue ant instead of a red ant. All the art supplies wanted to help. The masking tape thought he was broken inside. This will help hold you together. So what did masking tape do? Try to tape him together. The scissors thought his label was on too tight. One snip should do it. Oh my goodness, so she's cutting him, right? Ooh, to try to loosen it up. I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Ooh, so Pencil thought he wasn't sharp enough. So what's Pencil going to do? Stay still now. <gasps> My friends, look at all these things they're doing to this crayon just because they don't think he's acting and behaving the right way. They think he doesn't match his label. So what are they trying to do? Trying to change him, right? But uh even with all our help and all his hard work, well... Even with all their help and his hard work, is it working? What kind of different blue things do you see on here? Hearts, cherries, foxes, toenail polish. 
He just couldn't get the hang of it. Oh, color is this top light supposed to be on a traffic light? Mm, red. Have you ever seen a blue light? One day he met a new friend. Hmm. Will you make a blue ocean for my boat? My friends. This berry color is asking red to make a what color ocean? A blue ocean. But his label says red. Why is she asking him to make blue? Hmm. I can't, said red. I'm red. Well, will you try? What do you think is going to happen if red tries to make a blue ocean? Let's see. So, he did. Thank you. It's perfect. You're welcome. It was easy. Huh, my friends. Do you think Red just made a discovery? What did he find out? And he didn't stop there. He drew bluebells, blue jeans, bluebirds, blue whales, blueberries. Here's his discovery. What did Red discover? He's not Red, he's blue. I'm blue. Look at all these blue things he's drawing. What other blue things are there that he could draw? Yeah. He was, scribble out Red, blue, and everyone was talking. <gasps> Olive says, my son is brilliant. Amber says, who could have known he was blue? Hmm. Hazelnut says, I always said he was blue. Did he really? No. Coco says it was obvious. Barry says his blue ocean really lifted me. Sea Green said all of his work makes me happy. Brown says his blue strawberries are my favorite. Apple Green says he's so intense. Yellow, I'm going to make a green lizard with him. A really big one. Because yellow and blue mixed together makes green. I hear he's working on a huge new project, said Gray. And Scarlet says, he's really reaching for the sky. Now what kinds of things do these crayons have to say about him? Really nice things, huh? And he really was reaching for the sky. What is the big project he's working on? Coloring the whole entire blue sky? My friends, how do you think this red crayon feels now that he knows he's blue? A lot better, right? Like he knows his true inner self. Because even though his label outside still says red, what is he on the inside? Blue. And now everyone knows it too. Everyone can see him for who he really is on the inside. The end. All right, my friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story of Red, a crayon story. And... We learned some really interesting things, right? Like we also learned about colors in this book, like how you mix colors together, and we learned some cool names of some different colors. What was your favorite part in this story? Yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting hearing like all the different crayons, what they had to say about red, and then how what they said changed when they realized he was blue, huh? So my friends, and also you can see, so this crayon was born with a certain label, a label, but was it the right label? No, it was the wrong one. But people, all they saw was that label and thought, well, he must be that. So they expected him to do certain things. And when he couldn't, they got kind of upset. But when the berry crayon saw his true colors and saw that he was really blue inside, she helped him out, right? And said, can you help me and be blue? And now all the other crayons could see him for who he really was. So my friends, I hope that this helps you realize that you should always be true to your inner self. Even if people call you different labels and names, you say no. That's not who I am. This is who I am inside. And share that self because that's the person people want to get to know. People want to get to know the real you. Okay, are you ready for this week's craft? You'll love it. So for this week's featured craft, we have our make your own label craft. And see, it's super cute. It's kind of you dressed up as a crayon and because we don't want other people giving us labels we write our own label on our crayon 
inspiration. Because since the whole story is about not letting other people define you and make your labels, this craft has you make your own kind of label and then you get to write it in yourself. So you get to choose how you want to represent your inner self. And it's really simple. All you need is a toilet paper roll and then some construction paper to make your head and your arms and legs and your face. And then this little crayon wrap around is just white paper. And you can actually find a template on my blog, my storybook, by clicking on the link below of a little crayon label that you can print out that would should fit around a toilet paper roll. And on my crayon creation, I made an artist label because I'm an artist in the inside. So to find all the directions for this craft, you can click on the link below to my blog, my storybook, where there will be step-by-step -step directions as well as picture directions for a visual image and visual guide. There you can also find additional reading resources like vocabulary and main ideas to incorporate throughout your story. Alright my friends, and be sure again, if you do your own crafts or you have your own reading adventures, please share with me my storybook on Instagram, on Twitter, on the blog, on Facebook, and here on YouTube. You can find all those media links down below. And just a little quick update on me. I've been putting together my classroom still. And this week we've been focusing on putting and sorting all the books for our classroom library. Thank you to all our self-published authors and independent authors who have reached out and donated books to my Storybooks classroom. Thanks to you, we have an enormous classroom library selection. And I'm so excited to share all those books with the kids. Please reach out to me if you'd like to donate some more books. You could never have too many because there's always reading adventures to have, right? All right, my friends. Well, I hope to see you next Friday for our new reading adventure. We have another back-to-school themed one, and it's science themed to give you a little hint. But until next week, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful time. If you are starting school next week, good luck and have a great first day back. If you're still on summer, then enjoy your last few weeks. Until next Friday, happy reading.